Hello, hello, my YouTube friends. This is the ambassador coming to you again on a very, very bright and sunny day. Oh, yes, you know, I do appreciate you watching my videos. Please subscribe when this video is over. And thank you again. Okay, um... Uh, now, there's a very serious thing going on, and we're going to talk about that today. So, the title is, The Arrests of People in the Ten Thousands Are Coming. Yes, the arrests of ten thousands of people are coming. So, let me start out by saying that the prophets are speaking. Yes, the prophets have spoken, and we are in the end times, people. And much is going to happen before the end actually happens. And it will be horrific. What is happening is this country, at this time, is not pleasing to God. A nation that was blessed by God for its carrying the gospel to every country in the world. Now, there are those that say we have little time left uh, to make this nation uh, one that is pleasing to God again. But one thing is that all of these sex crimes, child trafficking is on the rise and has arisen to great heights in this country and around the world. So the arrests of uh, some of these people committing these crimes have already started. Uh, we have allowed this country to fall to such an immorality and now it will take God himself to bring us back from these evils that are on this earth and this country. So, there are tens of thousands who will be arrested for crimes of corruption and sex crimes. If this nation which God has given us a little more time to fix the problems that we have actually brought on ourselves, we will be destroyed in one hour. The Bible says it. So, you know, if there is a civil war because of these arrests and of, of many beloved people by other people, we will be invaded from countries that are right around us. Right now, uh, some are just, what, surrounding America. We have sleeper cells in here from Iran. Yes. So, people, we will be invaded. And, and this country will go down in one hour is what the Bible says. Prophets say that this country will fall in 2021. Prophets who say they have talked with angels who told them this about America. Just from the fact that a country divided cannot stand, that is scriptural. It says a, a house divided against itself cannot stand, so that goes for a country as well. So, but God is not pleased by what he is seeing happening in our country. He is not pleased at all, people. And we go about our daily lives as if everything is... Um, what all is well, but not all is well. Now, people, you would not believe who are engaging in such activities as, as what I'm speaking about. There are strongholds in this nation who are taking us down who have no fear or care about what God thinks. Okay, right here in America, these people are hiding in plain sight. 
these traffickers, these corrupt people. This could happen to anyone at any time. There are 1,000 children missing from Utah. Oh yeah. There are child sacrifices in many states. They want to be, well, they want to, um, to buy the predators, or bring, I'm sorry. They want to bring the predators to justice. And uh, there are over 1,000 sealed indictments for some very prominent people. It's, it's, um, there are children, God is calling for the justice for these innocent children who have been being sacrificed and who have uh, gone, uh, taken into child slavery. Okay, the call for corruption to beget justice is prevalent as well. Because America has been such a great thriving and prosperous country um, may soon come down as it has been prophesied that it will. And we people who have sat by and let all of this go on without standing up with all the things that have happened in this country, we have sat by, stood by, and let it all happen. So God is not pleased. Okay, um, we will be a fallen nation. Because why? Because we are a godless nation at this time. We have taken God out of everything. What sense does that make? God is God. Okay, so there are a lot of school shootings because we've taken prayer out of school. There's a lot of school shootings that don't even get in the media that we don't know about. They've taken the Ten Commandments down out of all state and federal buildings. Yes. They don't want anybody to know what's right and what's wrong anymore. What is wrong with the Ten Commandments? What is wrong with it? Okay. We can't pray anymore before games or political meetings in Washington. They used to pray before all their meetings. So all of this has been taken out of everything and we expect to live like before because we have been blessed for so long that we think we can just now do whatever we please and just put God out of everything. Okay, evil is prevalent in the nation and that was founded on godly principles is what this nation was founded on, godly principles. It looks like Satan will have his way with America because he wants to take it down. And that is to destroy a great nation. There is so much corruption in, in this country that Principalities in high places, yes, some beloved civil war is imminent. Or I believe civil war is imminent in this country. And we only have a small window of time before the seven-year tribulation. Yes, people, we are coming up fast towards the seven-year tribulation. Yes, and we are going to have to be ready because right now we are in the birth pains. In the birth pains because of what has been going on in this country. Corruption going on in plain sight as well as child trafficking. Selling children into sex slavery. Okay, um, I know this is not a pretty topic. But people, we need to wake up. This is no joke. Open your blinded eyes now. The arrests are coming and have already began. Things are going to get worse. 
as there is already a war going on in Washington. And don't you understand that that is a war? The Democrats versus the Republicans. This is an all-out war, people. It's going to get worse. Much worse, as a matter of fact. We need, as they say, take our country back. We need to take our morality back. And maybe our country would come back. But it seems inevitable that that most likely will not happen because we have so many out there who don't want it to come back. So, arrests are coming to over 1,000 uh, indictments. There are over 1,000 indictments to arrest people. Gitmo has been upgraded in the hundreds of millions of dollars. The war is in this country has started and we people need to wake up. This is really no time to sleep. Have you ever seen what is happening in Washington before? I have never seen anything like this. No, never. All the bad people will be arrested. I don't know who those people are. And I'm not even going to try to guess. But it's coming, people. Um, it's going to have to be martial law sooner or later. We're already in a state of emergency, which has been... Uh, done some time back here in the spring. And uh, if things get any worse in Washington, I don't know what we're going to do or what to do. As me, myself, there's not really anything I can do. But the war is already on. We are already pretty much in the beginning stages of a civil war. And then what did I say about a civil war? That this country will be invaded by people we think like us. People that we've helped in many ways. So yeah, that's what's happening people. We are in a time, in a very serious time. And when we look at the news, we see what's happening, but we don't want to call it out for what it is. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, they're trying to unseat a sitting president. That is never good no matter what. That's never a good thing. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video and that you've learned a little something because I don't know everything about it. But, I do know what the prophets are saying. And I have just told you that. So, this is the ambassador saying to you, I really appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, many more will be coming as the tide turns. And peace, love, see you.